So, real quick, why are we starting our video here? This is Samos, the island of Samos in Greece. So, way out by Turkey. So, let's zoom out here. Keep going out here. So, right near Turkey, if you ever go on a cruise of the Mediterranean, a lot of times they end up here at uh, Kusadasi, which is supposed to be beautiful. A lot of ancient Greek civilization um, uh, artifacts are there. So out here, and you have Rhodes is somewhere around here. Where's Rhodes? I've been to Rhodes, actually. Uh, Rhodes is somewhere. All these islands that are near Turkey, all right, there's Rhodes down there, near Turkey are uh, still Greek, and they speak Greek uh, there. And one of them is Samos, and that is the place where Pythagoras was born. So Pythagoras was born there. He f learned a lot of stuff in Egypt and Greece, and he ended up over here. Uh, in, in a place called Croton, which I think is around here somewhere. I'm not exactly sure. So pretty far. Think about that back in, in those days. Uh, this is all part of Greece, though. And Pythagoras taught here, and I linked a video uh, below that has um, his story. It's kind of, I don't know, the the tone of the, the uh, video is a bit quick. So if you're, uh, it might give you, it might drive you nuts. It drove me nuts, but I'm old. If you're young, uh, watch the video and enjoy. It's about his story and, and, and his, um, oop, his his life story and murder and that sort of thing. There he is. There's a picture of him. Uh, he was not made of stone. That's not actually him. That's a uh, a bust that looks like him, I guess. And he came up with a bunch of things and worked on a bunch of things and he he did them with uh, his followers. And the most famous is the Pythagorean Theorem, which says that A squared plus B squared is C squared. So that's an A. So this is side A, this is side B, and that's side C. So just some things I wanted to go over that came up during our Adobe Connect meeting earlier. But one way to prove that is to cut these guys, uh, make squared numbers out of the side lengths. So let's just think of the easiest triple. So if we put 5 as our hypotenuse and 3 as our b and 4 as our a, that works because 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. So we know it works because of that. So 9 plus 16 is equal to 25. So that's the proof. That's what we're used to, right? a squared, or I think I messed it up, a squared or plus b squared is equal to c squared. So what you have is the hypotenuse squared is equal to the sum of the other two squares, uh, sides, both squared. So that's how it works algebraically, but the, the truth is, it, it, it's not, this isn't why it works. This is why it works. So, um, before I get to that, let's just talk about this. 3, 4, and 5. 3, 4, and 5 are called Pythagorean triples. So, we have uh, t three whole numbers that work together in a right angle triangle. So, 3, 4, and 5 are, are those numbers. If and it, uh, You'll find there aren't that many Pythagorean triples. So, if I had 2 and 2, for example, or 2 and 3, well, 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9, add those together, that's 13, and the square root of 13 is, is uh, 3 point something. Uh, and most of the time, if you try to come up with, with a triangle, you're going to find that one of the sides is going to end up with a decimal, or, or not be a whole number. If they are whole numbers, we call these numbers Pythagorean triples. So 6, 4, and 5 works. Uh, so does, uh, sorry, 3, 4, and 5 works. So does 6, uh, 8, and 10. So if you double these up, or triple these up, or whatever, uh, they will work. So that's 36, 6 squared, 64, add those together, that's 10 squared, which is 100. So I'm going to talk more about squared numbers in a, in a bit, but I want to just prove Pythagorean Theorem real quick. And th this is how, uh, hopefully you, you've seen something like this in, in your class. If this is the length of 3, so I, I switch these around now, this is 3 and this is 4, uh, and you were to make a square out of it. So 3 squared is a bunch of squares that are made by a length of 3 and a length of 3. And you know that 3 squared is 9. And the reason 3 squared is 9 is when you look at this, 3 times 3, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 squares. Okay? And if you go 4 by 4, you're going to get, and we know this, 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16. So, what you can do in your class, and I wonder if you did this in your class, or you, hopefully you, you've seen something like this in, in grade 7. Uh, what you do is you take this and you cut them out and then you lay them out here and you have 4 by 4, 16 squares here, okay? And then you do the same here and then you take these pieces here and you add them on to here and this is obviously really poorly done uh, art-wise. But then you add your 16 squares and your 9 squares and you have a total of 25 squares. 
And if you were to take this and just cut it into pieces, you would get a five by five, which is one, two, three, four, five by five is 25 squares. So that's the project sometimes you see in, in, in done it in grade seven, cut these out, lay them on top of this, cut these out, lay them on top of this. And you find that all these guys are covered by this guy and this guy. Okay, that's the proof of Pythagorean uh, theorem. But I wanna talk more about uh, square numbers. If you wanna learn how to square numbers, I just we just looked at this, three squared is three times three, which is nine, okay? So um, I think, uh, you know, most of you probably have two squared memorized, right? Three squared, four squared, five squared, six squared, blah, blah, blah squared, you know, 10 squared, 11 squared, uh, 20 squared. Once you get to bigger numbers, they get a little easier. Some of them are easier, right? 20 squared, you just go, okay, that's just 400. I know that. But if I asked you what 21 squared was, or let's say that you knew 30 squared was what? 30 times, three times three, that's 900. But what's 31 squared? Or if you know 25 squared, can you get 26 squared? And I just want to show you a little trick I just did with, with the guys, the kids in in, um, in the last, in the Adobe Connect meeting. Let's look at this Pythagorean triple here. And if you have 12 here and 13 here, there's a whole number that goes here. So this is another Pythagorean triple, something, 12 and 13. And that's a right angle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, we're going to figure out what that is, right? So what I have is 13 squared is equal to, that's 13 squared, is equal to 12 squared plus something else squared. So that's 169, right? 13 times 13 is 169 is equal to 144 plus something. And you might have already worked this out, but uh, let's let's see if we can prove it algebra or geometrically. 12 squared is there, and then 13 squared is just the same thing, but a little bigger. Okay, so my 13 squared is this so my 12 squared is 144 so this guy here is going to be 12 long and this is 12 long and my 13 squared is going to add another one and another one so i have 144 pieces here and i want to know what 13 squared is um i want to go from 12 squared to 13 squared what i'm going to have to add is 12 pieces here because this has a length of 12 right 12 pieces here let's just pretend that's 12 and then what i have here is 12 plus 1, 13 pieces here. So if I know 12 squared is 144, and I want to know what 13 squared is, what I do is I add 12, which is my first number, 12 squared, right? 12 squared. And I add 12, and then I want to know what 13 squared is. I add 12, and I add 13, and I get 169, which is 13 squared. Okay? So what am I adding? I'm adding 12 and 13. That's adding 25 pieces. And then if I said, what's the root of 25, right? If I wanted to figure out what this Pythagorean triple was, what's the root of 25? You guys know it's five. So five squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared. So that's great, but it's also, it's great with figuring out uh, squared numbers, okay? So if I know that 15 squared is a certain value, right? I, I'm not sure if you know what it is, but um, let's figure it out uh, by going with 14 squared. Okay, if I know that 14 squared is 196, which I believe it is. Uh, if I go 14 times 14, I get a 14 by 14 square. And I wanna know what 15 squared is. I'm gonna add to it, so 196, I'm gonna add to it 14, and then I'm gonna add to it 15. So that is, what, 29? I add that to that, I get 225. And if you know that 15 squared, what 15 squared is, it is in fact 225. Okay, so to go from one squared number to the next squared number, you just add that little piece and add that little piece. Now, I'm gonna link a video to this guy called, um, I can't remember his name, Benjamin something, and you'll, you'll see it in, uh, underneath this video. And what I wanna show you is how to square big numbers. So, let's square a big number. Let's start off with something kinda easy. We'll go with 32. So 32 squared is made up of two pieces. One is 30, well, it's made up by a bunch of pieces. What we're gonna do is take 32, and we're going to rip it into, into its its components. It's tens, so there's thirty, and then it's it's ones, which is two. So I got thirty, and then I got two. So I got I go to thirty, and I go to thirty here, and I draw a square. Okay, and that's the ugliest looking square I've seen. But let's pretend it's a square. Thirty by thirty. Then I have a little piece of two and a little piece of two, and then I know that this guy here is thirty squared, right? And thirty squared, three times three is nine. Add the zero is nine hundred. 2 times 2, I know that this piece has an area. So this has an area of 900. This has an area of uh, 4. So what I'm going to do is break this up into pieces. I have this guy. I figure out what the area of this square is. Figure out what the area of this square is. And then I have two strips. I like to call them the strips. Both these strips are the same length. 
So in this case, they are 30, right? This is 30 long by two, and this is 30 by two. So 30 by two is 60 long, and this is 60 long. So what I can do is then just add up these components in my head and figure out what 32 squared is. So I go 900 plus four is 904, and then I also know that uh, 60 plus 60 is 120, and then I add these together, and I get four, two, 10, 24. So 32 squared, hopefully, is, is 1024. Okay, so that's that's a quick way to do it. And it's not that hard. And eventually, if you practice, you can probably do this in your head. So let's try to do one like this, 73 squared. Okay, so 73 squared, the year I was born, 1973. Uh, that makes me old. Uh, wait, I forgot to carry the two. No, I am old. So that's a seven the uh, by 70 square. Okay, so this piece here is 70. This is three, this is 70, and this is three. So we got the, the pieces together. So the first one is 4900. Zero, zero. The next one is 70 by three here. That's 210. Okay, three times seven is, is 21. Add the zero, 210. Let's double it right away though. So add these together. 210 and 210 is 420. And then my little guy here is nine. Right, so then I can add this up. Two, three, five, three, two, nine. Okay, hopefully that's right too. Okay, um, and Let's try to do one in our head, though, because it, it, it's doable, okay? I'll tell you this. If this number is big, so if I have 68, for example, okay, or or 18 or 37, it's more difficult to square these numbers. If you're going to try to do this to impress your friends, it's more difficult to square these numbers when you have to carry, and you usually have to carry when the second digit's big. But let's do let's do a, another number that's not too hard. Let's do 54 squared. Okay, so 54 squared. So let's square the 50, 2500, zero, zero, 2500. Zero, zero. Keep saying that in your head, 2500, zero, zero, 2500. Zero, zero. The two strips are 5 times 4, 50 times 4, which is 200. 200 plus 200 is 400. 400 plus 2500 is 2900. Zero, zero. 2900, 2900, 2900. 4 times 4 is 16. 2900 plus 16 is 2916. 54 times 54. Let me grab my calculator. 2916. Try another one. Okay. Uh, let's try 30, I don't know. Let's try, you wanna try, we'll try one with a big number. And you'll see it's a little bit more difficult. So here I got my 30 and then these pieces are a bit bigger. Okay, so 30 by 30 is 900 and eight times eight is 64. So 964, 964, just keep saying that 964. 30 times eight is 240, 240 doubled is 480. 480 plus 964, 480 plus 964, 480 plus 964. It's gonna end in four, 480 plus 964. Keep saying that in your head, add them together. And then four and a four and a four, I think that's right. Let me check, 480 plus 964. I gotta grab a calculator, I think that's right. And let's make sure that's right. 38 times 38 is equal to, yep, we're good. Okay, so practice, okay? And, and you can uh, impress your friends. And if they're not impressed, uh, well, they should be impressed, okay? So that's squaring numbers. Uh, check the link that I have in our, in our folder here. And he does three digit numbers and four digit numbers squared. Which it, and he does it the same way, kind of, okay? So uh, once you get used to two digit numbers, try bigger ones. All right, good luck.